Cool, so tonight we are doing something completely different. The kiddies are at Granny and Grandpa, and we are going to make hot wine glue vine. Glue vine? Glue vine, yes, I use wine strings. And <laughs> or it's also called mulled wine. Um, mulled. Mulled wine. Mulled wine, yeah. yeah. Which is a, a warm wine that's got spice in it. Um, so you've got the nutmeg, you've got um, cinnamon stick, bay leaves, a little bit of sugar. Well, yeah, and this is a t the type of recipe that you can actually make according to your taste. So we will just tell you what we are going to put in. Gary doesn't drink any alcohol, so I will do the test tasting, and he will be the worker for today. Sure. And this is supposed to be a Christmas drink, apparently. Yes. So. Okay. So you're going to start off with a nice red wine. You are going to need a red grape juice because that is like nice and sweet as well. You can add in normal sugar. They normally say like 100 grams of sugar. That's more than it, yeah. And then you would get your spices, which is your, I don't know, this you would normally put in briyanis and curries and stuff like that. <laughs> Bay leaf, cinnamon stick, these little star things, and cloves, whole cloves. And pepper. That's it. Nutmeg. And nutmeg, that's it. And what is this actual blue So if you, if you didn't have, um, if you didn't have all of the ingredients, so this is like a little tea bag. And my friend from Germany, she actually introduced me to this. Um, the spa up in Kloof actually has these little guys, and these are five in a pack. So all of the spices are here. So when you smell it, it's quite spicy and... Mm. It smells quite nice. Yeah, it does. Shout out to Laura. Laura! Yeah! Back in Germany now. Back in Germany. Thanks for the recipe. That's it. So, like I said, Gary doesn't drink, so I will be doing the test tasting in Portland. Okay, so, I'm going to Okay, so we have the red grape juice in there and we have the sugar and now we're putting the peels inside there but we are bruising the peels which apparently this is called bruising and we're basically just bruising the skin and you can see all the, Oil. all the oils and things. Okay, so for all of you who don't drink alcohol and the kids this is as far as you would go, except yeah. you could add a bit more red juice. Yeah, grape juice. it's like a spicy, spicy... Spicy grape juice. Yeah. Fruity, yeah. spicy grape juice. I'm going to have a test taste of this. And it definitely does smell like Christmas. Alright, so... Mm, that's very sweet. It is 
So I'd recommend this if you're not gonna have blue wine with the with the wine, the wine, just as a like a fruit crunchy kind of drink. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's looking good. Look at that. I should probably have a test taste of that just to make sure. What do you think? Meaning what? Well, it's got quite a, a, a kick, like a strong Ooh, ah, one of those. <laughs> Not bad, I mean it's nice. If you drink too much of this, I would think that you may need to visit the toilet the next day. <laughs> <laughs> For the last and final step, we are now adding the wine. So now this is the most important part of this Christmas ingredient of blue wine is obviously the red wine poured into our nice sugary zesty um, syrup really because that is what it is it's nice and sweet and then you're going to combine it with the wine so here goes <laughs> Bottoms up. Yep. There's the bottom. <laughs> Look at that. This looks amazing. And if you drink all of that, your bottoms will be up in the air tomorrow <laughs> too. <laughs> bottoms will be down on the toilet. <laughs> and now all we're going to do is we are coming for a nice summer. Mm -hmm. um, but look how the, the colour has changed. It's a beautiful, rich beautiful rich color and look at all the zest and the peels and yes see it is smelling amazeballs so much darker now oh my goodness a nice spicy Ooh, can't wait it just takes that sweetness away because it was a bit too sweet eh? yes so if you didn't have those um the little spices and things remember you at this point now you can also use tea bag with the, all the spices in here so that you could actually add in here but this is smelling quite amazing really nice okay so remember not to boil the alcohol once you put in the bun there you go. <laughs> it's pretty yeah and this oh oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> you should taste it first so we can get your okay oh it smells amazing So, <laughs> you guys, give it a go. <laughs> Absolutely. Amazing. So, okay. definitely spicy uh, glue vine, and I definitely think of Christmas when I taste this, and I definitely think of Laura. <clears throat> yeah, she's amazing. Laura. And so, you guys, um, try your own glue vines, you can experiment and try different things. Um, drop a comment below, tell us what you thought, any ideas, any other drinks that we could try. Mm. I think we, we need to try eggnog. Eggnog. Okay. Eggnog. 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 <laughs> 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 Alright. Stay tuned for eggnog, it's coming up, I promise you. Okay, there. Cheers!